What's going on guys, it's your boy Darth Eternal here with the latest Star Wars news, but before we do get into that, remember, hit the subscribe like and notification bell so you're always in the know. Also, go check out my last video as it was a good one, so give it a thumbs up as you watch. Let's start today's show because we have some big news today. What is going on, Eternal Sith fam? Today, we have some awesome news on Deborah Chow. We have a new Kenobi picture and some new posters for the series, which we will talk about at the end. But right now, we're going to talk about something Deborah Chow got off her chest on the process behind working certain details from other Star Wars projects into her own show. So with her previous work on The Mandalorian, she felt the responsibility to this universe. And she says this. Yeah, it was interesting, and I think for me, having gone through The Mandalorian, and thank goodness I did, that was really my introduction to the responsibility to this universe and how to tell stories in this galaxy. So, it was so helpful having gone through that already before taking this one on, meaning the Kenobi series. But there really is a responsibility to it. You want to respect the canon, but you also want to have your voice in the canon and you don't want to just retreat or to do the same thing again. So this can be a little tricky, guys, but let's read more. So there were definitely people that were extremely helpful. Lucasfilm has a great team that helps support that. But I would say Dave Filoni was very pivotal for me, both in terms of The Mandalorian and in terms of the Star Wars or shall I say, all of Star Wars, as well as John Favreau. But Dave Filoni also was a touchstone and remains a touchstone for me for this series. Anytime I have a question about canon, I just go right to him, which is awesome. That's great to know that she actually went to Dave Filoni for anything that was canon to make sure that it made sense with the Kenobi series. The only thing that concerns me a little bit is, you know, when she's talking about it here, how she wants to kind of turn it into her own. But let's continue to read. She also did say this at this point, both for him and for the galaxy talking about Kenobi, it's quite a dark period. And that actually made it really interesting to be telling a story in this period. It's a time when the Empire is ascending. It's post order 66. So most of the Jedi have been killed as we already know. A lot of them are being hunted by Inquisitors, which we've seen in comics and also obviously we saw that in Rebels. But now to have it obviously in the Kenobi series in live action is great. Let's go on to read. So it's a very dark time to be a Jedi and most of them, like I said, are hiding or dead. So for him at this point, 10 years later, we're dealing with post order 66 after Anakin, which is Vader, who he believes he killed. And then all of his friends, everybody sort of gone or hiding. So it's a tough period for Kenobi, as we do know that. And we learn it as we've seen already some of the the interviews that Kenobi or shall I say you and McGregor has already had. And let's read this last one here. Obviously, they're from Rebels talking about the Inquisitors. And it was really exciting to get to do them for the first time in live action, which I'm totally in agreement with her there. They're established characters and whatnot. So we bought them into the show and it's largely because they were out there and they're Jedi hunters. So they're under vader and palpatine obviously and they're basically dark side wielders that their primary purpose is to hunt jedi down just as vader was too and why not just help him along the ride so this is awesome news guys i mean again to get something like this and her just confirming how dark this show is going to be and how invested she really was is a beautiful thing to learn about as we are getting closer and closer to number one star wars celebration and the kenobi series which is super exciting so comment down below guys if you're super excited to hear what deborah chow had to say and as she went to filoni to basically confirm everything and make sure that she was lining up with the canon now i will say this I wouldn't be surprised, guys, if certain things change, and I know that's going to upset some people, and I totally respect that, but again, this is going to be, and I, look, listen, I, what I can tell you is, is this, be 
definitely when they say rematch of the century, we already know that comes with problems, right? We already know that we're heading into a a field of confusion of not understanding or as we will understand of what's going to happen with everything going on. And we have to just figure out and kind of see where this show goes. So I guess before kind of uh, judging it before we get it, let's wait and see if it makes sense, if it can correlate with episode four. And again, let's see if they make sense out of it, because she did say that she went through Dave Filoni. So it makes sense with the canon. So that kind of makes me feel a little bit better. And again, I want to get your guys take. So comment down below if you're confident that Deborah Chow has what it takes to not ruin the continuity of episode four or just Star Wars overall. Now, with that being said, Let's look at this new image today that we got to get of the man, the myth, the legend, Kenobi. And how amazing is it here to see him in his new attire? And we knew that this was coming and we get to see him holding his lightsaber. So this is awesome, guys. Again, he looks very fashionable as we got to learn that and talk about it in an older video of mine. As they did say he would have a new wardrobe. It wouldn't be the same attire that he obviously wore in Revenge of the Sith. So this is cool. It's nice to see. And again, we obviously saw the Black Series figure. So that gave us a breakdown of what his whole outfit was will look like so again this was a cool one to get yesterday it was really exciting i was happy and i couldn't wait to get this one out to you guys so again comment down below if this is another one you're excited for now the one that i'm really excited for is the lightsabers and we're gonna go through each one of them obviously and we're gonna go and talk about them and i want to get your guys opinions on them so without further ado let's show off the first one which will be kenobi as we have his original hill we have his beautiful lightsaber that we will see in the series and i can't wait then the next one we have here is obviously vader and obviously it is the traditional vader one so this isn't the one from after revenge of the sith as you see here on the hill it is very much a new hope and the next one we have here is yes the fifth brother so as you see here it is definitely different than the ones that we've seen before it obviously still looks like the grand inquisitors but it has a different touch to it as you look in the handle now we will look at reva's lightsaber this is the one here guys this is the one that i want and it is a beauty it just something about it just speaks to me i don't know what it is but i cannot wait for them to release this lightsaber and somebody bring it out because you know the fandom or shall i say the cosplayers and lightsaber community is going to go berserk and bananas for them i know i will i love this lightsaber hill it just something about it just looks dope it kind of reminds me of empress ray it reminds me of the dark ray lightsaber a little bit just a bit but anyway let's look at the next one and that is the one the only the grand inquisitor as that is the traditional one that we've come to love and know of and again it looks nice and i have to say they did a really good job with the three lightsabers that we just got to see of the inquisitors amazing job that they did i mean the detail the attention to detail on all these three are amazing and obviously the attention to detail of kenobi's lightsaber and vader is simply astonishing it is beautiful and i can't wait to get this series all the more guys and the fact that they gave us these posters super amazing i can't wait to see more artwork for them i can't wait to see people doing artwork for them and just seeing them come to life I'm, i i feel like honestly my favorite one is going to be reva's lightsaber comment down below whose lightsaber is going to be your favorite out of all the five that we just looked at but anyway guys i had to get this news out to you guys today it was super exciting i had to tease these photos because again they are amazing to look at we got new kenobi poster as you guys got to see that image of him in his new attire and then we got to look at these new posters of these lightsabers as we already knew the grand inquisitor vaders and kenobis but we got to see reva and the fifth brother so simply amazing thank you star wars for an amazing day yesterday as we get closer to the kenobi series but anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in today remember hit that subscribe like and notification bell so you're always in the know so we can get this channel to keep growing and also stay tuned as i have another video out tomorrow thank you so much eternal sith fam later